Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Zebra News. We don't really care about the news, but we have some fresh shit for you. Today we are learning about cultural and historical buildings. We have a transmission with Ruli, our correspondent. Let's see what he had to tell us, because we don't pay him that much. Hola, Ruli. Bon dia. Calimera, Alvaro Pulos. We are here in the Kaisa Forum. That is behind me. This building is not a historical building. This building, in our days, is a creative space for arts and culture. So, we will see inside of this Kaisa Forum. Kaisa inaugurated this project for build the social center. It's also based on the environmental sustainability and maximum energy efficiency. This place becomes a space of knowledge and encounter open to the city and all the people. Kaisa Forum, they have a room among others, science, art exhibition, imitatives, music conference and activities educational. Oh my god! All with the aim of promoting the culture as a form of cohesion and social integration. That is all for now, so pay me the paycheck, please, and calodromos, Alvaro Pulos. Muy bien, obrigadinho, Rulinho. Next week we will increase the budget so he can buy a pair of flip-flops. But now it's time to Belen. Belen is our correspondent, she's in the unemployment office, and she's going to explain that also buildings have to keep updated. Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, we have the connection. Hey, Belen, ciao, ¿cómo estás? Buena dina, Chalvaro. We are here in La Caferia and we will discover more about it. Uh, it's one of the few buildings of an Islamic uh, architecture next to the Granada Wire. What do you think about this? Uh, yes, yes, of course, I'm very proud to be part of the Muslim building family here in Spain. In 1986, some of my remains were declared a, a world heritage site. What do you think? And it was amazing, amazing. Yeah. I, I am very proud to be part of the cult cultural human heritage. Previously, I was a prisoner where several prisoners were there. Do you know who was the first prisoner to be named? Yes, of course. I, um, I can remember uh, the name. Uh, really, really dangerous uh, prisoner here. Currently, uh, they use me as a building of the court of Faragón. What do you think about politics? I saw a lot of politicians speaking, I saw kings, queens, but I am still waiting for a decision for the people. Uh, also in our days, it's difficult to have a decision, not for the politician. La, but for the people. But I don't speak about politicians, sorry. Thank you very much. It's all for today. I will pass you the communication, Álvaro. La revedere. <laughs> eh, molto grazie, Belen. Ci sentiamo. Eh, now we have uh, Maite. Eh, she's gonna tell us a little bit about the Roman amphitheater because we all know that uh, he had his moment of glory, but, well, not anymore. Buona dimenaza, Maite. Buongiorno Álvaro, ¿cómo estás? We stay here in the amphitheater of Zaragoza with Royal Waters, a member of a Pink Floyd group, who explained us his experience of the last concert here in Zaragoza. Hello Royal Waters, did you play your hit Another Brick in the Wall in this historical concert here in Zaragoza? Yes, of course, it was the beginning of the concert, the people were jumping, clapping, wow, it was the best uh, beginning of the one concert that we did. The organizations told us that there are 6,001 people here, one more than the capacity of the amphitheater. Do you think that maybe it is not good for the structure of the amphitheater? Uh, I have a team of architecture and they said to me that everything is okay, so I trust them. And yes, yeah, yeah, we can feel the music, maybe some rocks are falling, but we are okay. Oh, everything is right. There are some similarities between this concert and one that you did in 2016 in Pompeii. Really? Some similarities? I don't know. Uh, for me, uh, every concert are different, uh, but this is special here in the amphitheater in Zaragoza. Uh, not like, like Pompeii, not like Pompeii, no, no. Do you know if in the first half of the first century, when it was built the amphitheater, the people like electronic music? 
romance. Romance like electronic music, of course, my friend. Every culture loves electronic music. And um, finally, what do you think about how to be a zebra in the Roman Empire? Are you asking to me how to be a zebra in the Roman Empire? Really? Please, don't kid me. He was in the concert. Tell us about your feelings. What, what concert? Uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the interview with Royal Waters. We giving back the connection. Ciao, Alvaro. Um, for the in my team, Now we will reach uh, Maria in La Cio Cathedral, and she is gonna give us uh, a better insight about this uh, building that was born from different cultures. Haristopoli, Maria, and now we have, and now we have an international connection uh, to the other side of the planet. We're gonna see the crystal of Tero with uh, Vegas. Chacho, me escuchas? Hello, Álvaro. Good morning, Chacho. Good morning. I'm here in the Cathedral of Palencia. Yes, where they discover a little straight statue. The aliens, yes, aliens, wow. But now and the one one death where the statues the aliens. The Reyes of San Juan's Tor has got a got style, not under remodeling. In a general what it was made up to give this cathedral other tour for kings a priest. Jeff Pines was the architect Kitter responsive to remodel the door uh, in this remodeling work he made his own signature. This signature action consists to put next to saints sculptures. Other one that is not animal uh, and is not human. Where, where are Palencia aliens? What is meaning of these aliens? Álvaro Chacho! I found it! Up! Look! Look! Look, Alvaro, Chacho! Or up, up, up! Yes, yes! It's a true object, the aliens! Wow! Amazing! Well, Alvaro, I hope you like and the wonderful this cathedral in Palencia. And see you later and good morning! Gracias, chiquito corito. But now, let's have a better look to our future. How's the weather for the project going to be? We're gonna contact with both Gandalf or special witch for the forecast. 
Bill Gandalf, are you there? Boas tardes, Álvaro. Muito obrigado pela conexão. You want to know your future? Then you have to wait, because now we are going to speak about the weather during the project. And here we go. Day one, there will be a huge storm of shaking hands. Day two, huge waves of cultural stereotypes will invade us. Day three, the wind from north, the strong wind from north will blow so hard that everybody will play football. Day four, it will be sunny, so we are going to admire some architecture works from the Egyptian times till the present. Day five, it will be a rain of colors, so we will have red and green and pink and everything you think. Day six, the flood will come up, so we will sculpture some statues and monuments. Day seven, European cultural heritage will show us the most beautiful rainbow from the project. And day eight, it will be about shaking hands again, hugging each other, cry and going home. This is all for today. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado. See you next time. <laughs>the party bus with young people inside was arriving from the village when the accident happened. The ark was repaired quickly, but this accident will always be remembered in the city of Zaragoza. Maria del Carmen ark was in the beginning Zaragoza's door. Nowadays, it's a symbol of resistance. This accident will always uh, keep in the memory from the city of Zaragoza. I give you back the connection, Alvaro. Zebra News is there for telling you the truth. Hello, my name is Nadi. Before I fall, pillars and common walls, I hadn't released what the culture of my city represented. I used to think it was dull and decadent. But on a sudden day, a, a letter arrived in my mailbox. That changed my life! Pillars and common walls! What? Ever since, my interest in, for the culture and the world that surrounds me has increased. My life has turned interesting! <laughs> Come to Pillars and Common Walls! Honor of Reddit! If you want more information, you can always go to our radio station. Uh, for me, I just have to say goodbye. And we will meet on the 13th of November. And don't forget to read the two info packs. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.